Well, hey folks, Captain Dave here in the Wolf Den. This is something a little bit different. It's the day after Valentine's Day, so it is the 15th of February. If you didn't see it, and if you don't go there, you might want to go check out my Fishing Reports blog on my website, which I will have a link in the video description, and I am going to put it on the screen right now. All right, so the reason I'm telling you to go there is the Jacksonville fishing really heating up. I had one guy on the boat with me yesterday. Yes, I fished on my birthday. And the only reason I fished on my birthday, which I haven't done in probably 21 years of being in business, is because I usually, back in the day, would always go to South Florida over this week. Why? Because the Miami International Boat Show is going on right now. And me and my dad and some friends used to make a pilgrimage down there to South Florida to see how the other half lives. It's like going to the Disney World of Boat Shows, the Miami International. But over the course of the years, they've changed it, they've moved locations, and now it's very difficult to get down there and just spend a couple hundred dollars to go stay at a place and go to the boat show. We're supposed to go out, I had one guy, we were supposed to go out on Monday, and instead we switched it to Wednesday because... He thought his son might be coming, who's a pro hockey player. But his son didn't end up making it, so just me and Pierre went out yesterday and had an exemplary day and literally had to leave the fish biting. And the reason being is because Pierre had to get on the road and get down towards central Florida. So we left the fish biting. And the moral of the story is, sort of the mate to this YouTube channel is the Fishing Reports blog on my website. I'll put the blog direct link in the video description. But how you get there is by clicking on my fishing re or fishing reports page on my website. I always tell everybody if you're a Jacksonville fisherman and you're looking, you've got a extensive list of informational areas to go to on the web on your computer, bookmark my fishing reports blog. From time to time there's some good information on there that will never hit a YouTube video. So, with that said, I got a new product in today. And this is all over, well not, I'm not going to say all over YouTube, but I saw this and then I saw the video afterwards. And I said to myself, this looks like it's built for a fisherman. This is a multi-tool by Altu Outdoor Creation. Eight tools. Comes in this nice box. It came and it's uh, distributed by Amazon. So if you're a Prime member, you can get this two-day shipping. And I think this thing, 15, 19, 16, in the teens. 
and I am this is going to be a replacement for my EDC everyday carry. I have not done any kind of videos like this before. So let's open her up. There it is. Comes in a very nice pouch. And then, of course, you get everything the tool does in English and Chinese. Then, of course, here too, you get a mini catalog of the Altu company, mini catalog outdoor creations. Just really nice and very cost effective. But this one I thought was really great for us fishermen. I just thought it had a whole lot of what I'm looking for that I'm not going to be able to find basically in a Leatherman or Gerber that doesn't cost huge amounts of money. So let's open her up. Nice, pretty nice sheath here. Nylon. But at the same time, I'm not a sheath guy all that much. And I'll show you what I am a kind of a guy. There it is. But here's the reason I bought this and the reason I would buy any multi-tool or knife. Belt clip. I wear nothing but AFCO blue water fishing shorts. I've got, I don't know, 50 pair. And it has a Cordura lined fishing plier pocket in my shorts. You may have seen me. I'm out there in purple shorts because those I got at half price off of the AFCO website. I've got them in black, tan, blue, green. I've got them everything. And this is right there, clips right into the Cordura pocket on my fishing shorts. So, I'm also big into belt clips and things like that when it comes to cell phones. I don't stick a dang cell phone in my back pocket. I just don't do it. But, let me show you why I thought this was good for a fisherman. There's plenty of videos online about this multi-tool. But, as a fisherman, this looks like it could be very good as an EDC everyday carry and that's what it'll be for me so to start off with it's all metal and then there's like I don't know what is that is that metal or it's got yeah like a plastic or something plate on it over the metal if you can see that. This black is like a plate over top of, the, of metal. So let's start right here. You've got a Phillips head that it just sticks out. It's always kind of there. It don't fold or anything. But you end up getting, look at how that snaps into place, which is nice you end up getting some nice spring-loaded pliers. And they got the grip, and non-replaceable, but you got wire cutter type things there. Very, very springy. Very springy. So that's one thing that I thought was nice for a fisherman. All right. Nothing really over here. Every this on this side what you have is you got a file and a bottle opener the file on this side maybe just a touch up a hook just real easy just tut, 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 tut with a you know touch up a hook okay so over here it's kind of a little more open file 
and over here it's more of a um, finer file. I don't know if that would do much to a hook, but it can help you out in a pinch. That's what all these tools are, is to help you out in a pinch. So that's the only thing you have on this extension here, is you've got this uh, bit that stays here. It doesn't go anywhere. So what that ha what, how that works is, I guess if you're, um, you know, let's see. Let's see what this does here. You throw this back in there. I'm wondering, there you go. Okay, now there's the screwdriver part. That's what I like too. It's long. You can do some reach here and you got, it's very good on the hand. Very good on the hand to operate the screwdriver. And then of course the pliers and then the file right here. And all this snaps into place. Okay, so let's close that up. Right. Then you have the blade and stuff over here. Well, first, here you go. Long, straight slot screwdriver. Long. And everything's good, I mean, nice and tight, and it looks like you could tighten these up with a, a Torx. Right? So you've got a long screwdriver. Again, good in the hand to turn something. All right. And then what this turns into, where is it? I gotta, there it is. Then over here, got a nice long blade. And man, that blade is wicked sharp. Now, these guys that get really, really, really into this stuff, they start talking about the steel and the hardness, Rockwell hardness and everything. I'm not. Believe me, I stick this in my pocket. I'm not using this to go out in the woods and, and live, you know, like an urban outdoorsman or something. Okay. So you got to, I like this type of blade. I'm not all that fond of ones that are half serrated. So I like that. I like this really works out. I don't know what kind of steel, personally, don't really care. It's not a locking, but good egronomics here for cutting. So what else are we talking here? I know it's got a major feature that I really liked. And where is it? This thing has enough stuff that's sort of confusing here. There we go. You pull this down. Bam. Now that is the reason I like it. Look at the size of those pliers or um, scissors. That's the reason why this would be a good EDC as a fisherman. All right. So let's get a little fishing line out here and see how good this just kind of cuts it. This is the first time, folks. Okay. No big deal. Cuts it really good. I wonder if it would cut braid. I don't have any. Yes, I do. Do I have? No. I've got a brand new spool right here of Hercules Braid, which this stuff is pretty dang nice, folks. Pretty nice. For the cost, this is China Braid, but the neat thing about it is you can get this braid on eBay from a guy who will be out in California and he will send this to you so lightning fast. Because of course, things that come from California are most of the time coming on an airplane to Florida. And you can see it's black. I love the black braid. I just gotta, I get on these different kicks. So this is 30. 
This is 34 strand China braid. And let's see how, if the, pl if the scissors will cut it. Now, I'm not sure you're going to be able to see this against this black mat, but let's try it anyhow. Well, not really. Because you know most of the scissors for your braids are sort of a serrated blade. Well, it cuts it, but it doesn't do it, you know, super duper great. Well, there you go. Because, see, what it's got to do is it's got to grab the braid. So a lot of your braid cutters have, a, like, a fine serrations on them. Well, it does the job. So that's all that really matters is you've got a pair of scissors handy. All right. And at the same time, folks, I, I really like this. This is black just like the god line. I believe it's tempt here the same exact thing. It's a four carrier. Hercules. I believe it's sold by a company or a guy on eBay that refers to himself as Scorpion. So this is a thousand yards and I think uh, this might be like 20 bucks. So you've got the things that are important to a fisherman is you've got a way to cut line, you've got a way to repair a reel or tighten up screws, you got a knife, you got a file, and you've got a quick pair of pliers. And the neat thing about it is it all comes with a belt clip plus you get a very nice uh, nylon sheath here. Yep. And you got the little file. I doubt I'll be using the file much. And it comes, you know, and you got a bottle opener. So it kind of comes with all the little things that I'm looking for. So this is my new EDC. Everyday carry. As a fisherman, I believe this is probably a pretty nice product for the price. In the teens, folks. 18, 19, 17, something like that. I can't remember. But I'm going to put the link in the video description. Do you know where the video description is? It's below the video where it says show more. But I'm learning through time here that that's only on a computer. I don't see many people knowing where to look for information when they're on their smartphones. And it sort of always kind of gets me because I don't use my smartphone to watch videos. I use a laptop, a um, smart big screen TV. I use a giant you know, 22 inch monitor hooked up to my um, laptop. So all you cell phone people, I would have to look at YouTube. I've got the YouTube app and I'd have to look up where do you see that same information? Because a lot of people are not seeing this information. They're asking questions and things like that which is fine, but in all reality, all the information is right there, inclusive in this video. So, I will put these links in the video description, but as an EDC, Everyday Carry, this is my newest one. I am going to have a contest with this video, so get ready, folks. I am going to give away my old EDC. I'm giving it away. It's a belt clip, belt clip, and a good one too. Big, rides in, the, in a pocket really well. 
This is a Leatherman, folks. This is a Leatherman. And you could tell me, you know, when I contact you if, you, if you don't even want this. I can understand. Why would you want a used everyday carry from somebody else? But I figured I might pass it on because this worked for me for years. Look at that blade, folks. That son of a gun has been sharpened more times than you want to. And it's sharp. It's sharp. But this isn't my everyday carry old Leatherman. And what it has, nice thing about it, locking, or no, this doesn't lock. The blade locks. It's a liner lock. It's got a Phillips head. It's got a bottle opener, can opener, carabiner clip, and where is it? Over here, it's got a straight slot. I cannot tell you how much I've used this. I really enjoyed this. I shouldn't be giving it away, but I'm going to. And you got your Phillips head over here. Snaps in. I have used this for everything under the sun, folks. So, I'm going to give this away. Along with two packs. Two packs of Fish Bites Easy Crab. It's coming to that time where you take this these strips and you cut a little piece and you can add this to anything for a little extra scent that melts in the water not on your hands like gulp fish bites is king surf fishing river fishing anything you add just a little piece to this and let it melt and help you out with the scent all right to win these Two packs of Easy Crabs and my old Leatherman EDC. All you have to do is be the first one to go to a video on my YouTube channel. And the video is all about loving the jetties. Loving the the jetties and I want you to go there and say in the comments section below the video I EDC I EDC and guess what the first person who does that and I'm gonna be looking at the time that you made your post I'm going to be looking at the time and see who says I EDC and you will win the two fish, bat, uh, fish bite packs and like I said if you want it I'll send you my Leatherman multi-tool knife I should sign it right <laughs> I should carve care of Dave in here, right? No, I'm not doing anything like that. So, the video is I love the jetties, or loving the jetties. That's what the video is all about. See if you can find it on my channel. Not counting this video right here. You've got 526 videos to look through. I can understand that could be a daunting task, but 525 videos, and this will make 526. So I have pretty substantial YouTube channel. And it's, the video is about loving those jetties. So folks, thanks for watching. I know this was a long video. Share it, like it. Push that bell for notifications for other contests. And believe me, 
We have some Whopper contests coming up. We have some Whopper contests coming up for sure. So don't forget, bookmark my Fishing Reports blog because you'll see a bunch of other stuff that you don't see on YouTube. And I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.